kept us laughing on Saturday Night Live. He currently stars on TV's news radio. And starting tomorrow, you can see him in the new movie, Jingle All the Way. Please welcome Phil Hartman. How are you? I'm great. Good to see you. Yeah, I don't think I've seen you in person since uh, you hosted Saturday Night Live. That's right, a couple of years ago. I had a great a time. Fun, yeah. And you're hosting it this week. That's right, my second time hosting. It's thrilling, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's really great. It's really great to host. You're in the loop. You're in on all the decisions. Right. You remember. It, it's a good, I'm actually going to do it with Penny Marshall on December 14th. Oh, your, your commercial gonna... buddy. Yes, there you go. <laughs> Laverne and I, together at last. So, um, you worked with Arnold Schwarzenegger in this movie. Had you yes. met Arnold before you started filming this? No, I hadn't. Uh, but he had come to Saturday Night Live uh, during my tenure there to help out Danny DeVito when Danny hosted. And I remember just being in the studio and Arnold walking in, and I didn't get to meet him. He came in, he did a Hans and Franz sketch, I think, and a few other things, but... Uh, I got to meet him this time, baby. Did you have a good time with him? Were you intimidated at all? Or? Yeah, of course. You know, I'm such a huge fan of his. I love those action films. And he did so many of my favorites, the Predator series and Terminator and True Lies and Eraser. And I, I just love all that stuff. And so I was, I was very um, shy around him. The first few days we worked together, I didn't even really talk to him other than, are you going to do that line that way? Okay, very good. You know. <laughs> kind of kept reserved. And, and so then a, a very telling thing happened. I was in the commissary at 20th Century Fox, and uh, I was tucked off in the corner, you know, Mr. Obscure Actor Guy. And, uh, and Arnold walked in, of course, all eyes followed him, and he went to the very center of the room and sat down, and he saw me, and he went, and I went. <laughs> <laughs> and I got up and I walked over and, <laughs> and you know, the president of 20th uh, Century Fox was, oh, hi, Peter, how you doing? You know, and I <laughs> sat down with him and then within minutes I was just laughing real hard at all his jokes. Ah, <laughs> 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 I have your people call my people. No, you're wonderful. You do an impression of him, I'm sure. Oh, <laughs> well, yes. <laughs> uh, you know, the really, the really fun thing was that, of course, once he got to know me, he became a huge fan of mine. Of course, his, of course. His eyes would light up every time I came on this set. Oh, Phil, you're terrific. So glad you're on the team and all the wonderful <laughs> things, the characters you do and such on Saturday Night Live and The Simpsons with that toy McClure and he makes all this you may know me from, this movie and so on and such. You're just the best. We're really terrific to have you here and blah, blah, blah. And, well, you know. <laughs> He loves me. Who doesn't? <laughs> More with Bill Hartman after this break. Don't go away. <laughs> Yards are good. How are your kids doing, Phil? Kids are terrific. Uh, Sean is eight years old now. Uh, Bergen's four and a half. Four and three quarters, she says. <laughs> Has, have they seen the film yet, Jingle All the Way? No, uh, I believe they're going to see it this weekend with their mom while I'm doing Saturday Night Live. So. And this is the, the main toy. Arnold tries to get this toy Good the work. entire film. Oh, you made him talk. Yeah, Did look. You know? Good work, Booster. <laughs> Good work, Booster. And there, see, he's got wings in the back. He's like a human sort of Buzz Lightyear kind of guy. Turbo Man. Turbo Man. Yeah. Now, you're kid. Quiet, Turbo Man. I'm doing an interview. Turbo Time. <laughs> You're going to have to put down his rocket. Uh, oh, oh, there, yeah, you, there go. you go. I didn't know that. <laughs> See? It's a technical thing. I know. I'm not good at that kind of stuff. So um, I heard that your kids speak a special version of Pig Latin. Well, I'm teaching them uh, uh, what we called Egg Latin when I was a child. Uh, my brothers and sisters and I spoke a, a secret language. I'm one of eight kids. And um, we spoke a language in which you put the syllable egg in every syllable before the vowel and uh, after the preceding consonant. So uh, oh, it's, not, no. it's not as complex as it sounds, but Rosie would be regozeggy. Phil would be fagil. Um, what about Tom Cruise is the king? Tegom Kregus egg is the king. I 
like, don't go to Unger Gagan. <laughs> I can't even do Pig Latin. I'm one of those people, I can't do it. Somebody talks some Pig Latin around, you know, to try to have the kids not understand. I don't have a clue. <laughs> I do not have a clue. Well, we could, I don't know why. My brothers and sisters and I could speak this fluently, and we used to be able to say nasty things without our parents understanding. But <laughs> the Hartmans are a playful, uh, playful crowd. A playful crowd. bunch. We, uh, we play a lot of games. In fact, I brought some drawing games we play that oh, yeah? uh, I wanted to share with people because anybody could do this. And uh, we play a game called Squiggles, which when I was a little kid growing up in Los Angeles, there was... Uh, uh, a Popeye cartoon show uh, with a, a man named Tom Hatton, and he used to do squiggles. And uh, this is a squiggle. This is uh, just a nondescript uh, amount of lines, and uh, this is one that my son did this for me. Yeah. And you play with two different color pens, and this is what I made of the squiggle. Oh. It says, look at uh, that. what does it say? It says, Lewis just adored his cat Marcel. Now, look, you're quite artistic there, Mr. Hartman. Well, I used to be an artist. Uh, now, here's one I, I, I made for my son, this squiggle. Yeah. And he <laughs> turned it into this. <laughs> Johnny Partridge, what have you done to your face? <laughs> okay, here's one more. Oh, um, I think it looks like this. I gave this to, or no, my son gave this to me. And it says, Mike took drugs, too bad for him. <laughs> That's a great thing, it forces their creativity. Yeah. Well, I'm going to watch you on Saturday Night Live this weekend. News Radio, doing so well on NBC. Tune into News Radio. And Jingle All the Way, when does it open? Opens tomorrow, Friday. It opens tomorrow. Everyone go see it. Phil Hartman, thank you for being here. Thank you, Andrew.